Wright. 26 years of age is Buckley. Jordan Wright is 29. You see Wright is taller by three inches. Buckley came in well below the 186 pound limit. He was 183 for his last fight. One inch reach advantage for Jordan Wright. All right, now for the intros back inside of Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. 11 wins, no losses, one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Jordan the Beverly Hills Ninja. Right. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 11 wins, three losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 182 and one half pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Joaquin Numenza Buckley. And when the action begins, our referee in charge. Well, back on October 10th, it was a highlight for the ages. UFC fight night in this very building, and there it is. Impa Kasanganai on the wrong end of one of the most spectacular knockouts in the illustrious history of the UFC. One of four spinning back kick knockouts in UFC history. And now we will see Buckley spin it forward tonight. He had said that was just a moment. He's not trying to undersell it, but he understands if he cannot beat Jordan Wright tonight, then a lot of the gains Ray. from October Ray. will Fight. be lost. With that backdrop, we are ready to go. Joaquin Buckley, a modest 220 betting favorite tonight. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Buckley in black, Jordan Wright is in blue. It's an interesting thing to see that it's one of four spinning back kick KOs. I don't think that's really correct because the other ones were really wheel kicks. The other ones were circular. That was a linear kick, it's a straight kick. I think it's the first I've ever seen inside the octagon to jump spinning back fist to back kick to the face. It needs its own category. That kick needs its own category. But right now, yeah, he's different. been working Jordan Wright in front of him throwing heat. Jordan Wright has competed as low as 155 pounds, as high as 205. Big frame for this middleweight division. But here's the thing, so much attention on Buckley, does this put extra pressure on him to try to come up with another spectacular KO, or can he relax and just fight his style? Well, he's got to, right? You cannot yeah. recreate these things, right? Right. But, but Jordan Wright is a guy that, that possesses all kinds of skills, but and another undefeated guy, this is the second undefeated guy in a row that Buckley has seen standing across the octagon from him. So you've really got to teach these guys how to lose fights. They don't know how to lose. Jordan Wright has no intention of losing to zero tonight. All right, this coach's cam is brought to you by proper number 12, Irish Whiskey. Upper body. Nice, that was perfect. Good. Now have your, have your hands ready, have those kicks ready. Now when he steps in. Yes, when he steps in. Buckley is swinging right. Yeah, he's when he loading up, in. man. Loading up big time. Buckley's loading everything and he carries a ton of muscle. I wonder if that'll start to wear on him as the fight goes longer. Well, he had that same kind of aggressive style in the Kasanganai fight, and one of the things that was most impressive was that he didn't slow down. Maybe because he does, doesn't cut much weight. Mm -hmm. I and mean, when we're talking about a guy that's 182 pounds, he came in three pounds under the limit. Yeah. Four right. pounds under what he was required. Right, I saw him chug some body armor before he hit the scale, so he's probably even lighter than that. That was Anthony Hardonk, UFC veteran, front and center in the corner of the Beverly Hills Ninja, Jordan Wright. Hands inside the cage. That is not allowed. Don't grab the fence. Buckley's also grabbing the fence there. Yeah, Buckley went hand outside the cage twice and grabbed the fence. He's so got to be really careful because at a point when you're Herb Dean, you can't continue to warn a guy. You got to do something about it. Buckley has a lot of sources of motivation to take care of his grandmother, Peggy Brooks, his three month old baby boy, Isaiah Buckley, born in August. 
Pretty good connection by Jordan Wright and a nice counter from Buckley. Jordan is showing some good defense. He's keeping his hands up high when these big bombs are coming his way. He's doing exactly what the coaches want. And he's got some good kicks of his own. Fight really well to this point, honestly. Big hit oh. by Marshall. He lands for Wright. Oh, Jordan Wright's got a hell of a highlight reel. Much produced before he came into the UFC. Including a beautiful wheel kick KO of his own. Take your time. You got it. You got it. On and off. The problem for Jordan Wright is whenever they get into these big exchanges where he's right in front of Buckley and Buckley's swinging for the fences, it just takes one from a guy that's this powerful, this explosive, to shut your lights off. Buckley timed him. Or excuse me. Jordan Wright timed Buckley yep. as Buckley nice was coming in there. there. You hear his coaches saying off the tracks, Joe. So off the tracks are telling him that when Buckley enters, just change the angle. But only change the angle to the other side, right? You, they want him circling away from that left hand. Jordan Wright so well coached. Spent eight years in Albuquerque, New Mexico at the different Jackson oh. schools. Nice knee up the middle by Jordan Wright. Good kick to the body. Nice clash oh. by Buckley. Oh, now. oh my goodness. Heard of Buckley's throwing bombs. Oh. He heard a bad. He heard a bad. He heard a bad. Oh, man. Jordan's in oh, big trouble. Man. Short time. Eight seconds. Final seconds of the round. Looks like Buckley's. Oh, my goodness. Jordan Wright's going to survive. Wow. He's going to survive to see a second round. Stay with us. Oh, he got hurt bad, Anik. So control the garrison. I got you. Give me the water. Control the garrison. Give me, give me. Okay. This was that moment we talked about, okay? Hey, this is that moment. You just got to get through this. But it's still your fight, okay, Jordan? Okay. Jordan, pressure him a little bit more. Okay. Don't just kick. Pressure him and be ready to kick. He's gonna make that jump. When he goes for the jump, that's when you kick. Pressure him. You can touch him, but wait with that kick for when he jumps. Okay, Jordan? Jordan. He makes the kick jumps. Yes. Now, take the middle. Stay away from the fence. Stay away from the fence and have that kick ready. Joe, you were watching that Jordan right corner intently. Yeah, I was watching him very closely. I think he's badly hurt. I, I, I think Buckley really cracked him at the end of that round, and he might still be very compromised. Yeah, it seemed like his speech was a little bit slurred in yes. response well, to Anthony Hardonk. Look, 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 guys. This is how you tell. Look how he's going off to the wrong side now. Oh, that's, it. that's it. It's all good. Right goes down, and Joaquin Buckley oh has another highlight for the real. What a year for that young man. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> You saw how Joe, you saw him circling right. Yeah. The coaches were intent on him going left early. When you're buzzed and you're fuzzy, you start to do things the wrong way, and ultimately it cost him. Yeah, he did not look good in the corner in between rounds, and it, it's because Buckley had tagged him very badly at the end of the first. Look at that. There's a left hand, straight left hand, and Buckley just moving in for the kill. Look at that. The eyes roll back, right. hits him with the right hand on the way down. Buckley just has crazy power. Unbelievable. Crazy power. Look at that. Crazy power and crazy aggression. And now he's got a KO, a beautiful highlight reel KO with his hands. So Joaquin Buckley has left a couple of highly touted prospects cross-eyed in his wake. Joe Rogan will talk to him when we continue live from Vegas. Against the hype ain't real. The hype ain't real. never gonna be Hey, no, fuck that, man. Good looking, bro. 
Later tonight, two titles are on the line. Davison Figueredo looking to make good on his first title defense against Contender Series alum Alex Perez. Plus Shevchenko versus Maya for the women's 125-pound title. You can purchase UFC 255 through ESPN+. Plus. All right, now time for the fight decision. It is brought to you by DAV, Disabled American Veterans, gentlemen. keeping our promise to America's veterans. With that decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joaquin Numenza Buckley. DC, a lot of mutual respect between